Hello, beautiful sisters. My name is Marin from PriestessRising.com, and today I'm going to be making a video about the return of the Magdalens. For those of you that don't know me, I'll start with just a brief introduction. I am a remembered Magdalene Rose priestess connected to the lineage of the Sisterhood of the Rose and the lineage of the Codes of the Golden Ankh and Isis. And um, I work with women specifically who feel the call of the priestess path, who seek to activate their own priestess codes, their rose codes, and all of the codes that they carry in their own inner soul blueprint and library that are meant to be awoken in this lifetime so that you can serve at the highest level. So if you're called to have watched this video, then there's probably something percolating in you around the frequency and the energy and the vibration of Magdalene. I was inspired to make this video because I remembered a prophecy that was transmitted to me back in 2018 when I visited um, the Magdalene lands in the south of France and I did pilgrimage there. And on this particular day, I'm going to transmit this prophecy to you in just a moment. I'll give you the background. On this particular day, we were visiting the, 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 the castle ruins of Montesegur, and it was the place called the last stronghold of the Cathars. Now, the Cathars were a people um, that lived back in the 1200s, 1300s, and they were known as the Parfaits in French, or the Perfects. Uh, and they were known as the Perfects because they were so pure in their soul, so pure in their heart. They were true devotees to the path of Gnosis, which was direct knowing of the divine. And one of the tenets of the Cathar lineage is that they were so reverent to the divine feminine as an aspect of the creator. They held the secrets of Sophia during the darkest times of Earth's history when the Roman Catholic Church was forcing people to renounce their faith or ultimately be burned at the stake, be tortured, and be eradicated. The Cathars had a vision, and the vision was this. They saw that Magdalene would ultimately return, but she wouldn't return as one she would return as many. Now, I get chilled every single time that I speak that into being. (laughs) When I share that prophecy, I get chills. And of course, for those of you that also get chills, chills are our body's way of telling us that we are in the vibration of truth. So how is Magdalene then returning as many? Well, I believe that those of us that are called, that percolate to seek out Magdalene in this lifetime, whether it be through books, whether it be through imagery, like the imagery I have behind me, whether it be through a deep resonance with her and her story, that ultimately we begin to activate and open a pathway for her energy to come online in us and through us. And as we become Magdalene in our own way, in our own consciousness, so it is that she returns in the collective. Many of us are part of the Rose Oversoul. The Rose is a code. It was seated in the collective consciousness. It was seated here on earth. We knew that when we came back to earth in these dense realms of ultimate forgetting, we coded the rose with a particular frequency, the divine mother's frequency of love. And isn't it so interesting that roses and love, weddings and Valentine's Day and what have you, sort of go hand in hand in the collective consciousness. Ultimately, if you are of the lineage of the Sisterhood of the Rose, the Rose was meant to activate your awareness, activate your consciousness, activate your remembrance so that the codes of the Rose would come back online and you would find your way in the realms of separation back into the motherboard of the body, which is your heart. What happened 
so long ago is that we uh, disconnected the head and the heart. And when we did that, the heart needed to protect herself, needed to go on lockdown. And we got very defensive. And of course, that is so much of our culture right now is defendedness. And when we don't live in accordance to the guidance of our heart, then all we have is our head. The head was never meant to guide the way. The head is the masculine energy in us that's meant to serve the feminine, which is the holy heart. It's not that men are meant to serve women, but the masculine energy in essence has been designed to serve the feminine energy in essence. When we cut off from the heart, the masculine, the head, the analyzer was left alone and was never meant to be in charge. And we've ultimately created all manner of distortion, separation, suffering, chaos, and all of the hurt in the world that we have now because the heart has not been guiding us, because the feminine has been on lockdown, because the mother was eradicated from sacred spirituality and the path of religion. She is returning. She is returning. She is returning. She is unfolding. She is expanding. She is becoming embodied now. Gandhi said it in such a profound and simple way when he said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Ultimately, the awakening and the return of Magdalene is the beingness that we begin to behold in our bodies. It's the Magdalene frequency that our cells become attuned to, and we become vessels then for that vibration, for that energy, for that frequency, for that octave. And when that octave begins to ring and cascade from our vessel into the collective consciousness, out into the world, ultimately what happens is that other hearts begin to hear it and begin to open awaken, ignite, and bloom again as well. And so the Magdalens are here to hold the rose frequency so that others can begin to uplift to that frequency as well. It's a frequency that brings us home to what is true, that brings us home to the great creator, creatrix within us, that puts us back in touch with the higher self, the cosmic consciousness, the Christ within us, the crystal light being that ultimately we are here to become. So for those of you that know yourself as the Magdalene, sometimes we just need permission to truly be allowed to call ourselves that because to the ego mind, it can feel like a very big frequential jump to go from ego to call yourself a Magdalene. And the ego will say, how dare you? How dare she, right? Because it's such a, a different energetic template. Ultimately, sometimes we just need to hear other women who have claimed the Magdalene within us in order for you to open and ignite the Magdalene within you. And so to the Magdalene within you, I wish to say, I see you, I honor you, I remember you, I appreciate and acknowledge you, I love you, I am you. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening. Bless your beautiful heart.